Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dimmer Martin again. Now we're finally getting away from the BMT Breakdown series because like we did every single possible freaking week. So now we're going on to the Q&A. So we got the first question back. Let's see, first question was, where do you want to get stationed at? So I'll answer last, let these guys go first. Pearl Harbor. Hell yeah, waves and bitches. Gotta Things you won't get either of. You? Oh, gotta say Pearl Harbor, honestly. I mean, I would say that too, but I'm gonna be different and go with Langley Air Force Base because Langley's just, Langley's freaking Langley, man. There's a lot to yeah. do there. Can't really argue with that. Beal's not bad. I wouldn't mind Beal. No. The biggest complaint I can have for Pearl Harbor is the cost of living. Oh my god, yeah. Your BAS probably won't pay for all of it, so. BAH. Oh yeah, your BAH, right. BAS so, is sent anyway. It's three. It's sustenance, yeah. Dollars. Your BAS is also not that high either. How much so the pineapples cost? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I could only realistically imagine. Yep. Alright, next question on the tour of, uh, I can't look up the internet. Another question we got, let's see, I'm gonna read it for word for word. For the Q&A, okay. what happens between Airmen's Week and Tech School? Do you start automatically? When do you get time off? Alright, so we'll, so we'll first, we'll hit this question apart piece by piece. So, that time between, so that Airmen's Week day, once you finish, you'll get up really early in the morning, and you'll get shipped off to your first base. Either it's your, either your um, uh, in the bus or you're taking a plane. Most likely you're gonna be shoveled onto a bus. And then when you get there, you're gonna have to do some in processing for probably a full week. Death by PowerPoint. Yeah, probably some of that. And then you usually, depending on your job, my, it really depends, you probably will start class. Um, and then time off. So realistically, um, depending on when, depending on your tech school, when you have formations, usually like after say 1700, you have the day off to do, to do you boo boo. That's basically it. Yeah. As far as actual time off, off, like I get to go to leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fucked. No, you're an AU. You, you gotta build up that leave for a little bit. You're, you're an AETC. A ATC come in. God help you if you're a linguist. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you guys don't get to take any kind of like actual leave until you're operational. Which is anywhere from, was it, eight weeks for personnel? Or three years if you're like special forces or only like that. It could be a while. Yeah. Also eight weeks. I mean, you'll get like passes like anywhere from 72 hours where you could, where you could go home. Yeah. But it's not really worth it in my respectful opinion. Yeah. Unless you live right next to home. Yeah. 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 If during four day weekends like Fourth of July, Memorial Weekend, Labor Day weekend, um, is it Veterans Day also? Uh, I don't know. I don't, either way, whenever you have a four day weekend, those four days you're off. I mean, you can actually go anywhere as long. You know, I went to back to my uh, state where it was just three, four states away. So yeah, I gotta do that for the weekend. It's cool because you get these things called 29 Bravo, 29 Bs. You can fill them out with all the details of where you're going, where you're gonna be at, you know, what I'll tell you, fucking your bitch at, whatever. And then you get to, uh, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, but, but this I, guy, this guy, this weekend. Oh my God. Anyway, you're cutting that, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. Got it. <laughs> anyway, one night only. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Any <laughs> anyways, <laughs> and uh, Monday, Monday. <laughs> formation, formation, formation. Sucks to be you. Anyways, so you'll get 29 Bs, you fill out all the information, then you can just go. Depending on the rules of your squadron, depends on how long you have to wait to leave, so on and so forth. But well, yeah, the group, not just this. It, it, there's so many factors going into it, I can't even begin to be pinpoint accurate. It depends on how pissed your MTIs are. MTLs. MTLs. TTIs. It all depends. Fuck you. Okay, yeah. so our next question we got, and this is a real simple question, Q, for the Q&A. How often do you guys see other service members on the base that we are on? Now, though I will not disclose where we are, we see fellow service members all the time. We're right next to the Marine Barracks. Yeah, we're right next to the Marine Barracks, so when I hear a bunch of monkers screaming, I go, oh, it's the Marines. Oh, oh, the best one, so the lowest one we have on our base is the Coast Guard, and every single time they come by, I go, look, a unicorn. Much 
much love. We have much love for the other branches because we, oh, they yeah. give us crap all the time. I gotta see the Coast Guard daily, so. Yeah, but I still make fun of them. Oh, yeah. Coast Guard's in my building, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Yeah, so you'll see them all the way. The entire military is going joint, so, you know, there's not many places you can go that's solitary one thing anymore. In fact, yep. I don't even know of any base that's solitary anything. Most of them are all <laughs> Air Force bases. <laughs> Master Race. And Army. <laughs> Like a little flag right there, Hitler. <laughs> Damn. Oh no, that wasn't offensive at all. Oh, no. no, no, I'm pretty sure my dead grandfather was defended. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh all my good. god. Yeah, Alright, so this is a good question I got from one of my older videos. So if I join in the Air Force as enlisted and I get a degree, can I how is this what's the soonest point I can go officer? So no, really any point. Not not entirely. Realistically, your earliest, your earliest expectations are senior airmen. To apply, true, yeah. to apply for OTS. Yeah. There's also a certain point after which they will not take you. Yeah, if you're a certain age, like say you're like 30 some years, 30 or 35 years old, and you just finally got your degree, like you're probably, they're probably not gonna accept you. Unless it depends on what the degree is. Yeah, because yeah. if you got a master's in something, then they probably would just bump you right up to captain, but yeah. still. If you get a PhD and you wanna go there and you're 39 or whatever, they say fucking go straight for it. Do not pass go. Yeah, um, if you want a recommendation, Try and shoot for the Air Force Academy, but the, re the requirements for that are freaking insane, so you're probably not going to get that. I almost met the requirements. I was just six months too old. And your, your best bet, honestly, is an OTS. And here's something to think about. What's the difference, guys, between a second lieutenant who graduates from the Academy and one who graduates from OTS? Nothing. Not a, yep, not a goddamn thing. But at the same time, someone who graduates from the Academy is going to look a lot better than a guy who got an OTS. Just throwing that out there. So always shoot high. Yeah. All right. So, this question is pretty different, but I'm gonna answer it anyways. So, um, uh, usually this person asks, so when you get boots, are they usually like downsized, or what can I expect out of my boots? Usually, they stay pretty true, um, a true size to your shoes, usually. Otherwise, upsized. Think of the most angry thing ever constructed by man by the lowest bidder. That's your boot. Yeah, that's also your life. Anyways, so, wow. so realistically, you're probably looking at true size, maybe a little bit up, a little bit down. You'll have time to try on different sizes. Your low quarters, however, downgrade your size, please. Oh yeah. Make sure they fit, and we've discussed why. Yeah, don't be like me. Dumbass. All right, final question, because people always seem to want to know about PT. How is PT at basic? Well, I mean, this is just a general question, because I get it all the time on Twitter. Body and people kind of- lose mass. Yeah, I'm, guys, we're gonna touch on this real quick. But the reason we never talk about PT is because of the fact that PT has changed so much since we've been there. My squadron tested out the brand new PT regimen before we graduated. Oh, yeah. Meaning, whatever is getting changed or prior, it could be all different. So I didn't want to misinform you. Skip runs! But you will, if you're a bodybuilder, you're going to lose some mass. I'm sorry, I'll tell you that right now. My brother played Storm Chief with a bodybuilder, and every time I saw him throughout basic, he was smaller. Yeah, it happens. Um, it's designed for the lowest common denominator. So think of someone who can't even run a mile and a half. I mean, physically can't. And the PT program is designed around that. It's not designed around athletes. If you can run 10 miles without stopping, power to you. But you're not going to get any better in PT. If you're already an athlete, PT is not going to be a challenge for you. In fact, it's going to probably be worse. Probably, yeah. But another another question leading to that is how long is a PT session? About an hour. Yeah. About an hour. And guys, uh, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and all of our funny little outtakes and all that other stuff. If you guys want to see uh, more, let us know. Also, let us know in the comments if you want to see a video on the rope program or the phase-in program. A new AATC I was passed very recently, so it'll be very easy to make a video on either one of them. Just let us know in the comments. So we'll see you guys later. Just a small town girl. Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere Just a city boy